I'm Butch Krishnan from the Carroll Clinic in Dallas, and we're demonstrating the tag shoulder instruments. We're going to demonstrate how to pierce through tissue and retrieve with a very elegant set of instrumentation. And these are the tag tissue penetrators, clever hook, and sixter graspers. So as we can demonstrate here in the tag set, again, color coordination allows for an understanding that the red devices are left-sided devices and the green devices are right-sided devices. If we take both of the clever hook devices, we see that the jaw on each side opens inferiorly. And by opening inferiorly, it allows for a very precise penetration through tissue and then retrieval of any type of suture. The same mechanism is applied with the Sixter devices. The difference between the Sixter device and the clever hook device is the angle and radius of curvature. So as we take the same Sixter and clever hook devices, we can see that the angle and the radius is different to allow for different application in either the labrum for the Sixter or the rotator cuff for the clever hook. When we move to the penetrating devices, let's go ahead and pan that out a little bit. When we move to the penetrating graspers, we see that the four penetrating graspers have either a straight tip, an angled tip, or a right side and left side angle of the tips. If we focus on the tips themselves, Andrew, I think I'm going to have to have you hold them up. Yeah. Hold, hold the last one close to me. If we focus on the angles of the tips, we can see how each device is machined just appropriately to allow for the suture to be grasped and the tissue to be penetrated regardless of position or portal. The benefit of the Sixter device is that it allows for tissue to be penetrated at the six o'clock position. That's not going to work. You know I'll, I'll do it. Like yeah, this. Yes, exactly, because I have to be here. Okay, go. Yeah, in fact, I'll take it. All right. easier. Okay. The benefit of the Sixter device is it allows for tissue to be penetrated at the six o'clock position on the glenoid, we can see that the Sixter has a jaw on the inferior edge. And as we penetrate through at the six o'clock position in the labrum, we can then retrieve any suture from any anchor type device. The Sixter, the important understanding is again, the device should not be pushed through the tissue, but should rather be gently manipulated and twisted through the tissue to create a passage. Once that has happened and the jaw is opened, the suture can be retrieved back through the tissue with the same motion that was used to penetrate the tissue. Okay? And we're focusing on the rotator cuff. I just want to see which one, which limb is going to be used. Okay, that's good. When we're focusing on the rotator cuff, the use of penetrating graspers cannot be overemphasized. The penetrating grasper has actually two positions in the tip of the grasper. The first position allows, you just have to bring it close right onto my grasper. The first position allows for just smooth grasping of suture without actually pulling the suture, much like a suture manipulator. The second position at the base of the jaw allows for control of the suture. Each one of the instruments in the tag shoulder set that has a grasping component allows for the same dual mechanism, one to manipulate the suture, the other to grasp the suture. If we show the same type of a manipulation or dual jaw, with a clever hook type device, we see how the suture 
can slide inside the jaw or can be retrieved. When we're utilizing either the penetrator or the clever hook to retrieve suture, as we penetrate, can you try to push your gloves out of it? Yeah, just a little bit. Can you try to give more of a loop? Yes, yeah, good. And just leave it right underneath this coupling. Yep. As we penetrate through the rotator cuff itself, again, we want to use a slight twisting motion. Once we have penetrated through the rotator cuff, the suture manipulator, yeah, let's use this. Once we have penetrated through the rotator cuff, we can then either grasp the suture and control the position or fully retrieve the suture. The same passage can be performed with a clever hook device in a very elegant fashion by following the curve of the rotator cuff, passing through the tissue itself, understanding the jaw has two positions, retrieving the suture and delivering it back through the tissue.